YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a tutorial video. I hope you guys enjoy these tutorials and I hope you guys are learning something new from these videos. This is on my client, Ed. He is a new client of mine. I've been cutting for a few months now. Uh, we're doing a high bald fade with the drop in the back. I always like to drop it slightly in the back just to give myself enough room to fade up. We did some beard work. Number two, his beard line was a little bit lower so we kept it nice and sharp and tight but we did it now eventually grow it back out so now it's a lot higher. I'm gonna be just kind of walking you guys through everything real quick. I'm gonna be doing a bald fade, like I said, a high bald fade. And I'm using my wall system guards. So I start my fade off with, you know, my bald guideline. And then I start with my half guard going up about an inch and slowly opening the lever and going up as I continuously open up the lever. And then I move on to my one guard. And I believe we do a number six on top. So I believe I do some clip over comb or I just use a bigger guard like a three or four to fade into that longer hair on the top. Beard, we do a number two, give it a nice sharp lineup. I am using my ergo clippers in this video. Those have been for sure my go-to clippers. If you guys want to, or Gamma has given me a promo code for you guys. So you guys get 10% off your orders, but they have a whole line of clippers and trimmers now. They've got the alphas that they drop, the ergos, and also they got their new trimmer, the Evo, coming out soon. So if you guys do want to check them out, all the tools I have, or anything I usually use in the video, whether it's styling combs or my razors, all that, they'll be down below in the description. And then if it's not there, just go ahead and comment down below and I'll make sure to hook you up with where to find the products at. If you guys do like these videos, go ahead and make sure to subscribe, comment down below. It really helps the channel grow. I'm trying to give you guys as much value as I can when it comes to these tutorials. I got ASMR videos coming out too because people really enjoy those. And then obviously, <laughs> gotta do the beard video. So I got the beard videos for you guys too. Let me know what I can improve on. If you guys wanna actually see me moving the levers and showing you exactly where I'm moving it, I could do that. But everything just comes with practice. So the more you do it, the more you stick with the system, the better you will get. So I don't wanna talk too much. I've been talking a lot, but let's get into the tutorial, all right? See you guys. All right guys, we're back to the tutorial and this is how my client looks before. And you know what we're about to do, we're about to do a transformation, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and start the top off with a five, just make sure everything's nice and even and go over it multiple times. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to balding him out. And we're taking this pretty high, like I said, it's a high fade. And we're dropping it as we get to the back and as you can tell I'm doing a scoop out motion this helps with not making too harsh of a line and you could kind of scoop out so it'll be a little bit easier to fade or you could go ahead and turn around and tap it in with the trimmer but right now I'm just trying to clear out bulk right now I'm gonna come back later to really perfect it Like I said earlier, we're using the wall system. So I moved on to my one and a half guard and I have that blade completely closed. And I'm, as you can tell, I'm flicking off the head and out and fading right into that five guard. And I'm just cleaning off bulk right now and doing that all the way across the head. And what this allows me to do is skip some guards. I'm gonna come back later with a three guard to kind of blend, make the blend a little bit smoother. But what this is doing, allow me skip some guards so I don't have to go from the one and a half guard to the two guard to the three guard to the four guard in order to blend that in. You could do these little techniques to help speed up your fading techniques. Now we have our half guard, which is the 1 16th guard. And we're gonna go ahead and make about an inch guideline and we're gonna follow that all the way across the head, okay? Following that same guideline that we did with our trimmer. Right here I did come back and kind of fix it up a little bit. Now with that same guard, we have it completely open and we're flicking out the same way as we did with that one and a half guard. And this is pretty much gonna blend in with that half guard if you flick out correctly. But if not, you know, you could come back with your one guard and do some detail as well. But we're gonna do that all the way across back to the other side now. 
And also don't be afraid to close down the lever a little bit or open it up as you need throughout the fade. Now before we go ahead and take that last guy line, I'm going to go ahead and shave him completely bold with my bronze shaver right here. And I'm going up and flicking out when I get about a half an inch to a quarter inch below that guy line. So it gives me enough room where I'm not creating another guy line, but still getting it nice and bold. So there's a nice transition from bold to the longer hair. And you're going to do that all the way across the head. Now we're going to start with our clipper completely closed and going up about a quarter of an inch, creating a new guy line, and then open up the lever a little bit more, about halfway, and then going up a little bit more, and then we're going to open it completely and attack where we left that left off with a half guard completely closed. And that might not bring everything together, so what we're going to do is follow up with a half guard after this. So now we have our half guard and we're just going to do some details and blend that all into each other. Now right here we have our three guard and we're blending that into our five guard. Sorry, you'll see another clip later using three guard as well. But now we're going to go ahead and continue throughout the head, blade completely closed, halfway, all the way open, and then adjust the lever as you need to get that line out completely. So here's that three guard, we're just kind of lining up the area so it has a more smooth transition. And after that we're going to go back to our one and a half guard right here, lining up even more since we want a nice transition. And here we are with our one guard, and we're just opening it from completely open to close and just detailing what we need to. If you guys are wondering or want to ask if you should fade all the way across the head or do a section by section, that's completely preference. Sometimes I do it all the way throughout the head, sometimes I do section by section. Um, section by section you could kind of see how the fade is on one side and match it, which I'm doing right here, and that kind of helps you get more of a consistent blend as well, but it's totally up, totally up to you and how you want to fade. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the beard. Like I said, we're doing a number two guard on the beard and getting it all nice and even. Also, you can tell how easily these gammas just go through bulk. Definitely are a game changer. These clippers are hands down the best clippers right now in the market. Um, if you guys do wanna go ahead and purchase, purchase your own, go down in the link below and go onto Gamma's website and use JJ10 to get 10% off as well. So it'll bring down your cost a little bit. And for the mustache, we went ahead and did a number one guard. I believe it's completely closed just because the mustache area is a lot thicker. And that two guard is too big and you start poking people in the nose and it's just not a good thing. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and fade in the beard. I start with the one guard completely open to blend in that two guard. I kind of skipped the one and a half guard, but if you do need it, you could go ahead and use that to detail it, but it kind of blend in nicely without it. And then we're gonna go on to the half guard and then to the clipper with no guard on there. And we're moving it from the lever open to closed. And this is why you always talk with your clients and show them what you're doing because right here I asked him if he wanted to fade you know more lower or if he liked it and he told me he wanted a lot shorter and more bald on the 
near the cheek area, so I went ahead and did that for him. Now when it comes to making the neckline, I used one finger from his jawline to start my guideline and dropped it lower as I get closer to his Adam's apple. So it gives the illusion of a nice tight be looking beard on the jaw, but still it doesn't make his beard look too small because it's completely on his jawline. Moving on to the mustache, we're just gonna keep it super natural, just clean up whatever is hanging over. With the number one guard, there won't be too much excess over. And then since we're gonna raise it to the top of his mustache as well, and he has a super thick mustache, we're gonna clear off some bulk right now with our trimmers and get that set in. So when we come back with the razor, it'll glide a lot smoother after we apply a shave gel as well. Now we're applying a little bit of shave gel on his cheek, above his mustache, and onto the other side. Make sure to put a good amount above the mustache because it's a lot thicker. Also, I got some announcements coming out, so stay tuned. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because I have a little bit of something cooking up for you guys, and I'm excited for you guys to see it. But now when it comes to razoring, make sure have them blow air in their cheek. I'm sorry that you guys can't see. I'm still getting used to these angles, but make sure to use your thumb to stretch and have the blade be about 45 degrees and just stretch from the fullest part of his beard and go straight completely back. You'll have a little bit better on the other side. The other side is not the best, but it is a little bit better, so you'll see then. Also, always make sure to go against the grain when you're lining up the beer so it lasts an extra day or two and your clients really appreciate it as well. And of course, the camera on this side doesn't focus. <laughs> I completely apologize guys, but I will definitely get better angles when it comes to doing the beards. And right here, I'm just kind of showing him the final result. Seeing he likes everything, make sure the fade's high enough, the beard looks good, but he was fairly impressed with it, he liked it. And he keeps it completely natural, nothing in the hair. So definitely think, you know, he got transformed. And like I say, always make sure to finish off the cut with aftershave. It's a nice refreshment, wakes your client up a little bit and closes all the pores and makes sure that they don't get any type of ingrowns or infections or anything like that since we got so close to the skin. And then use a little blow dryer to cool them off, make sure it's on cool heat, really refreshes them. But this is how he looked before YouTube, shaggy, beard's getting all long. And then this is gonna be the after. Boom, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. This was, you know, on a different type of hair texture and color. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one, right? I'm out.